Coin 6, your local election headquarters. And tonight, moments ago, Nathan Vasquez thanking voters as he leads in the Multnomah County District Attorney's race. Voters across Oregon voted in those primaries today. The vote count started at 8. The results continue to come in tonight. At 11 o'clock, I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Elizabeth Din. Voters picking their candidate for president. There are also, though, some major races being decided tonight. Our team coverage is scattered across the Portland metro to bring you the latest on tonight's biggest federal and county races. The one race that's dominated the headlines for quite some time, that race for district attorney. Joining us with the results, and the first look as uh, the results continue to come in, Ken Boddy, our political director. Well, in the race for Multnomah County District Attorney, Nathan Vasquez is ahead with the votes that have come in and been counted so far. He's ahead 56% to 44%, and we're looking at about 58% of the votes in. Nathan Vasquez has about a 14,000 vote lead right now, so he's tracking to unseat his boss, District Attorney Mike Schmidt, in a race that was focused on public safety and crime. So neither uh, candidate has either conceded or claimed victory, but right now it looks like things are trending in Nathan Vasquez's direction for Multnomah County District Attorney. Of course, we'll continue to follow this as more votes come in as the night goes on. All right, Ken, thank you. All right, and let's continue with this and bring in our Brandon Thompson, of course, who's been there at the campaign of Nathan Vasquez. When we last checked with you, you said that they're feeling confident there. Tell us a little bit more. I know he talked a while ago, too. Confident, excited, elated. That's the mood here in downtown Portland at Nathan Vasquez's campaign party. Vasquez stopping just short of declaring victory, saying that he feels confident he will prevail tonight. One of the things that he says his first priority is when he takes office is to address the open air drug use and open air drug dealing across Portland. He has been the public safety and more conservative candidate throughout this campaign. And that is shown with some of the people who are at this campaign party here tonight, including billionaire developer Jordan Schnitzer, Washington County District Attorney Kevin Barton and Clackamas County Commissioner, as well as Mayor Ted Wheeler's lead policy advisor, Skyler Proctor Knapp, Sharon Meyer the county commissioner as well was here tonight so those are some of the minds that were here supporting district attorney candidate nathan vasquez in his election campaign to take on district attorney mike schmidt now he uh, he told me in an interview about an hour ago that he is committed to meeting people suffering from addiction where they are. That's when it comes to enforcing the recriminalization of drugs in the reform version of Measure 110 that was passed by legislators in the spring. Overall, he says he wants to bring a return to a place in his office where victims are prioritized, something he holds closely from his 24 years as a prosecutor. Restoring that idea that it is okay to hold people accountable and doing it in a compassionate manner. What is always at the bottom of my heart and what I believe in to my very core is that I am committed that my office will always put victims as its number one priority. So this is now a trend of reform-minded progressive district attorney or city attorneys Falling in their election challenges in San Francisco two years ago, a aggressive-minded prosecutor was recalled. That recall was successful. And in Seattle in 2021, a conservative-minded city attorney was elected. Now Nathan Vasquez on track to be the next district attorney of Multnomah County here in Oregon. Back to you. All right, Brandon, thank you. Okay, that is one noisy party. Lisa Balick at a quieter spot, unfortunately, for incumbent district attorney Mike Schmidt tonight. Lisa, what's the mood there? Well, actually, we are outside because the party has wrapped up. So definitely a lot quieter, no question about it. But earlier, Mike Schmidt was out and he was talking to the folks that had shown up. There were about 100, 125, 100. 35 people that were in the room. Take a look. He was very happy to see all these people, thanked his supporters. He said, look, 
you know, the race, it was hard fought and it was a hard fought campaign and the votes are still being counted. So he has not conceded. Now, Schmidt took a lot of heat for being reluctant to prosecute many of the protesters arrested back in 2020, shortly after he took office. He tells me voters do place blame on the DA for a lot of frustrations that are not under his control. And he says he has fought to try and make the city better. But at times, he said, you just can't turn the public tide. One of the things that's not been covered as much is that actually you look at the downtown crime rates the last six months, we're back to where we were pre-pandemic. And a lot of the different crime rates are coming down. But what I'm hearing from people is even when you say that to folks, they're like, well, I don't believe that. Now, Schmidt says he will continue to fight for criminal justice reform, whether it's as D.A. or somewhere else. And he says, keep in mind, one reason he has not conceded yet is, as you just mentioned, votes still being counted and will be counted throughout tomorrow and the coming days because so many people dropped their ballots in the mail today. Those ballots, as long as they were postmarked by midnight, will count, as well as the thousands of ballots that were put into ballot drop boxes as well. We'll see what happens in the coming days. Live in Southeast Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. That's a great point. Some of these votes won't be counted for two or three days. Lisa, thank you.